time. I'm Leo. Today, I'm going to introduce you to fractions. Hmm. So, what are fractions? Well, fractions are part out of a whole. Can you think of anything we see in our daily life that are fractions? So here are some examples. My mom bakes really delicious birthday cakes. All my friends really like them. I need to cut it very carefully to make it fair. Another thing we see in our daily life is the pizza. Before you eat pizza, you cut them into equal slices. I usually eat two slices of pizza. In the last few slides, we know equal pieces are really important in fractions. Before we look at fractions, let's look at equal pieces. Here I have two rectangles. Which one is divided? into equal pieces. First, let's look at the first rectangle. The horizontal line and the vertical line meet down in the center of the rectangle. From our eyes, we see that it looks like it has been divided into four equal pieces. So let's call this a correct. Now, let's look at the second example. It has one, two, three, four, five, five pieces. We see that this piece is definitely bigger than the other pieces. So this is incorrect. Now, let's look at a few more examples. Here are two circles. They are all divided into eight pieces. Which one is divided into eight equal pieces? First, let's look at the first circle. It looks like it has been divided into eight equal pieces. So let's call this a correct. Now, let's look at the second example. We see that the pieces at the side of the circle are smaller than the pieces in the middle of the circle. So let's call this a uh, incorrect because it's not dividing into equal pieces. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at fractions. Here is a rectangle. It is divided into one, two, three, four. Four equal pieces. One of the pieces are shaded in green. So let's write this as a fraction. First, we write a division line. Hmm, do you know why we write a division line? Well, fractions are division. We'll talk about this more in the future. So underneath the line, we write four because the rectangle is divided into four equal pieces. On top of the division line, we write one, because one of the pieces are shaded in. The number on top is called the numerator. The numerator tells us how many are taken away from a whole. The number on the bottom is called the denominator. The denominator tells us how many pieces are out there. Now let's look at a few examples. Here is a circle. There are one, two, three, four, four pieces. And one, two, three, three of them are shaded in. We write it like this and we say it like this. Three fourths, or three out of four pieces. Now let's look at the next example. 
Here is a rectangle. It is divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight pieces. And here are 1, 2, 3. Three pieces are shaded in. We write it like this and let's say it together. Three eighths or three out of eight pieces. Now let's look at a kind of like a word problem thingy. We know that fractions are parts and wholes. What that means is a whole divided into equal parts. So the word problem kind of thingy is a little cut a cake into eight equal parts. Her brother eats two such parts. So here is the cake. We know that her brother eats two such parts. So, we color in two parts. The fraction is two eighths, or her brother eats two eighths of a cake. So, how many pieces are left? We count one, two, three, four, five, six. So, the fraction is six eighths, or six eighths of a cake is left. So, we know that. 2 eighths and 6 eighths make a whole. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. See you next time.